Welcome to Robert Kiyosaki's The Business of the 21st Century. Robert Kiyosaki is recognized internationally as one of today's leading financial experts. The author of the best-selling Rich Dad, Poor Dad, his books have been translated into 51 languages in 109 countries and sold more than 28 million copies worldwide. Robert has spent his life educating people on how to attain financial freedom. Now, through this special video presentation, he explains why network marketing is indeed the business of the 21st century and how you can take advantage of its opportunities to create the life you desire. Hello, I'm Robert Kiyosaki. I'm the author of this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I want to welcome you to the business of the 21st century. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a very simple story of my two dads. My real dad was the head of education for the state of Hawaii. Great guy, PhD, like I said, head of education, smart guy, but he also ran for lieutenant governor of the state of Hawaii as a Republican. Unfortunately, he lost, and he ultimately died poor, so that's why I call him my poor dad. My rich dad, on the other hand, didn't finish school, but he ultimately became one of the richest men in Hawaii. So he was my best friend's father, and starting when I was just the age of nine, my rich dad began teaching me about money and business and why the rich are getting richer, and why there's this big gap between the rich and everybody else today. So Rich Dad is a very simple, true story about two fathers, Rich Dad and Poor Dad, tell their two sons about money. And it was my poor dad always said, go to school, get a job, work hard, and you know, all that stuff. And my Rich Dad says, you'll never get rich doing that, you'll never be a free man. So that's kind of the differences, but if I would show you, show you a diagram of the differences here, is that in financial education, this is very simply the difference. Because there's no financial education in our school, most people do not understand financial statements. So this here is income, expense, assets, and liability. And the reason my poor dad was poor it was very simple. Because he couldn't read a financial statement because he don't have financial education in school. He was financially illiterate, although a PhD. And my poor dad always said, our house is an asset. And my rich dad said, your father may be well educated, but he can't tell assets from liabilities. So very simply, my rich dad said to me, assets, whether you work or not, put money in your pocket. So when a banker looks at your financial statement, the banker looks at this and says, oh, you have assets and you're putting money in your pocket. And you look at your house, it's really a liability because every month it takes money from your pocket. Now, I can hear people say, well, it's, you know, I don't have any debt on it, but still every month you have insurance, you have upkeep and expenses to it. So very simply, the reason I'm a rich man today was I knew the difference between assets and liabilities. And I get richer and richer because every year I add more assets to my uh, balance sheet here. Now, one of the problems with this area, as you know, it takes capital. In other words, it takes a lot of money to buy some of these apartment buildings to build a business and things like this. But there is a way. There is a way to do it with very little capital. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. It's about a business for the 21st century. As an entrepreneur, I have built many businesses from scratch. And as some of you know, a lot of them crashed also. Statistics show that most new businesses fail within the first five years, 90% in fact. And of the 10% that survive, the remaining 10% crash in the second five years. So in other words, most are gone in 10 years. So I've looked at many different models, and one that stands out for me is network marketing. And the reason for that, it takes very little upfront cash. It has low overhead. It, you can do it part-time. It means keep your daytime job, but do this part-time. So let me tell you about my introduction to network marketing because I had a very closed mind to it. Since I can build my own businesses, I said, why do I need a network marketing business? But about 15 years ago, I have a good friend. His name is Bill, and this guy is the best real estate investor I know. He has tons of assets in here. So I said, Bill, why did you start a network marketing business? And it's simple. His answer was very simple. He says, it's my way of helping people. But more importantly, he says, the reason most people can't invest in real estate is because they don't have a business. They don't make enough money simply because taxes, debt, inflation, and retirement savings are killing them. They cannot even invest. 
So my friend Bill, who was a professional real estate entrepreneur, he says, I started a network marketing business so the people that worked with me could start their own business and then invest money with him. So with that, I realized then that network marketing wasn't about making money, but it was about helping people to help other people make money so they become financially free. So the beauty of network marketing, I said, like it's very low entry point, doesn't take much money, you can do it part time. And where you profit is, in most big corporations, is they spend millions, sometimes billions of dollars in advertising. So rather than give that money to advertisers, network marketing depends on building a network. It's called word of mouth, like you recommend a movie to a best friend. So really, the reason I support network marketing, because it's about people helping people build assets in the asset columns, becoming business owners, and then becoming investors rather than going through all of this here, which most E's and S's go through. In this section, I want to talk to you about a different kind of quadrant. Years ago, I found out there was four kinds of people in the world. You know, one type are people who must be right. These people know all the right answers. They went to school, they know everything. You can't tell them anything. This is not a good business for them because their minds are too set. Another kind of person is a person who must be comfortable. You know, the house could be on fire, but they're still watching TV, what's, you know, eating a hot dog, watching what's going on in the world. These people are toast because the world economy is not coming back. The world economy has moved on. And people who need to be comfortable will probably be left behind. So the people who, may, who need to be comfortable they probably shouldn't talk to it because you only make them uncomfortable. And they're probably not going to make the move because number one priority is being comfortable. Another kind of person is a person who must be liked. You know, they want to please everybody. This is probably not the business for them either, you know, because they want somebody else's approval. They want to be the good little boy or girl saying, I did the right thing, didn't I? You like me, don't you? And so they don't. Not, they'll probably not be successful in the 21st century because they'll probably want to be liked by people who have to be right, and people want to be comfortable. All right, then be comfortable. All right, you're very right. You know, it's part of being liked. But the business for the people of the 21st century are people who must win, and that's where I am at. One of the best things I was taught in the Marine Corps and at military school is not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you stand up. When somebody knocks you back, what do you do? Oh, 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 you hurt my feelings? You'll probably not be successful. The world will probably pass you by. Because as I said, the world economy is moved on. It's not coming back. So winners will win. But winning takes sacrifice. Success takes sacrifice. And these are the people who will do best in business of the 21st century. So when you're talking to people you know, about this business, you have to look at them and ask yourself, is this person really just going to be like you? They'll tell you what you want to hear, or they're going to argue with you because they know all the right answers, or they're going to or they're going to get very upset with you for disturbing them. So what you're looking for in the network marketing business are people who want to win, people who know the economy has moved on. You'll find every race, gender, age, and background in network marketing. But what they really want to do is they want to win. It really is a true playing field in the world. But not for these people. These people were left behind. Network marketing is for people who want to win because network marketing is the business model of the future. If you want the government to take care of you, then just keep doing what you want to do. It is possible for everyone to win. But the problem is you've got to commit to it. You've got to say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to dedicate five years of my life. Well, look at the leaders and say, those are the people I want to be like. Those are the kinds of people I want to hang out with. That's what you got to say to yourself. And I want to help other people do what I want to do and win in life. And that's why I support network marketing, because it really is the business for the 21st century.